Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Cooper Space Program. This is Designs of the Week episode 23, and we are starting off with Sparrowhawk. This is Sparrowhawk Mark 1, it is an awesome design. If you've played Halo Wars, a Halo game, uh, then you'd know that there is something called Hawk, and that's where I got the idea from. I have made this design previously, uh, it was a long time ago when I did make it, but I wanted to remake it in a larger form that you guys will actually be able to play, because the old design is uh, not compatible with this update. So let's just uh, turn on RCS because that is a must with this. Space bar, throttle the up, and yeah, we get going. We even have a missile, so if we press number one, that goes. And number two, and there we go, goodbye. That smashes, how cool, throttle down. We have parachutes, we have three of them. That will save us in an emergency, actually, thing is we'll get smashed even though we do have parachutes. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, let me just drive this around. Like a cool flying machine. Front row up. Let's go max. Let's see how this goes. Oh, look how cool that is. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool VTOL. Oh, we're screwed now. Yeah. Space bar. Let's see if we survive. No, we don't. It's because I was going too fast. Oh, well that part survived. It's good enough for me. And oh, that's not right. <laughs> anyway, next design. If you've seen the animated movie called Wall-E, then you'd know what this is. This is the rover, or the main character in the film. It is an animated film, and <laughs> this is actually quite funny. Quite funny to drive around and difficult to, I might say. Uh, don't smash. Damn it. Okay. Let me turn off the lights because it's too bright. Now, every time you fall forward or backwards, we have reassurance. You press G and everything's all fixed. Look at that. How amazing. No one's thought of that before, have you? No. Okay, now we can't move. Oh, that's right. The brakes are on. And move around. Uh, we have ion engine, but I don't know why I put that on. Just for decoration. But... And if we fall backwards, <laughs> I mean, we can just, okay, we can drive forward, I think. Backwards, forward, no, we can't. So, which is best? G. And everything's all fixed up. Look at that. Wow. It's a pretty good idea. Try this on your rover designs, people. It will save you. Oh, it happened again. Press G. <laughs> oh, yeah, we even have, okay, turn off the iron engine because... We, I think we do have a thematic generator inside. Let me just look. Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't have a thematic generator. All right. Nothing to generate electricity. Really? I forgot to do that. That's not right. All right. Maybe I'll just add a solar panel or something onto this design. But that's about it for this one. We are going quite fast for a small design like this. Yeah, that's for sure. And uh, if you do crash at this speed, then all hell breaks loose. <laughs> yeah. But I do believe the wheels should work. Let's press G, see if that does anything. G, 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 you're not working. G is not working. Oh, we're screwed. Well, that's fun. Next design. This is the final design. It is called Zakos Ship. There's nothing really fancy about it, but I thought it just looks cool. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Just looks cool. Yeah. And uh, make sure you throttle up here. You do lift up at the end of the runway. Because it is a heavy design, of course. Yep, everything's good. Nope, nope. Hold down S. Good. Yep, we're in the air. And everything works just fine now. Now I think. Wait. No, no, don't crash. It's gone. It's gone. We've lost it. That was just bad flying. Yeah, I'm gonna try that again. And here we go, I have finally done it after about three attempts. It's not easy to fly, actually, since it's so heavy. And uh, if the Rocket Max engine here does smash while you're trying to, you know, lift up there, then this ship is doomed. You can't fly without it. So, yeah. Beware about that. And this is not a high altitude flying plane because, well, it's just so heavy and it lifts up by itself and it, you know, does its own thing. 
as you can see. Because then if I have my SAS on, it still goes down by itself. So it's a failure in the making if you go high altitude. But yeah, that's it for this uh, episode. That was pretty simple. And I'm just having fun here. I'm, I do need to work on the having fun episode 3. Uh, I do have a couple ideas, but not enough to make a full episode, so I'm just making up some new ideas. And I think we are doomed in this scenario. Yeah, there we go. We're dead. And that survived. The rock and max fuel tank survived. Is that what it was? It didn't survive. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. That is the end of this episode, and see you next time.